Welcome to our channel where you will learn how to save hours of your time every single week. In today's video, we will go over a few of the field types available in Airtable. Over the next few videos, we will be reviewing eight of the many field types available. So there are over 25 field types currently available in Airtable. However, many of them are easy to learn on your own. So we will touch on the types that are a little bit more difficult to grasp or are very useful and common uh, or commonly used in Airtable. So in today's video, you will be reviewing the URL field type, button field type, and the auto number field type. So to start the URL field type, uh, it's simply intended for uh, the use of storing a single URL that is clickable within your Airtable base. And then from there, you can link that field to a button field type. So you can convert that URL to be a clickable button. And that is a very simple use case for those two field types in combination. And the last field type is the auto number. Uh, so an auto number is a automatically generated uh, number that's going to be unique in each and every record. Uh, so it increments by one for each record that you create. And the purpose of this is if, uh, to be able to create a unique identifier or when you're using a formula in the primary field. So in a later video, I will show you how to use a auto number in a formula to be able to create unique identifiers in your primary field on the left here. Um, so to get into a little bit more detail, let's get into the URL field type. Here's an example of a URL field type. Simply you would search URL, select it, create field, and then from there you can type in any URL that you want and it will save it in that field according to the record. So from there you can click on it and it will open up the corresponding website. So that is the URL field types. That's pretty simple and self-explanatory. However, it can become very powerful if you start creating uh, dynamic URLs using formulas and linking them to the button field type as I will show you here. So in this example, there is a URL here that links to a, a, a Airtable support doc. And then this URL is being pushed to this button here. So if I select it, it will open up the support doc in Airtable, as you can see here. And the way that would operate is you select the add a field, search for button, you can select it. You can label this whatever you want. So we'll call it website. You have various button options here. We'll make it orange. And you have various op actions as well. So open URL. And then there's some more advanced options as well, but we won't get into that today. And then to link back to this URL here, we will just type in the name of the field, which is simply URL. And you can select that from here click create field. And now this website will all or this website button will also link back to this URL. So it is pretty simple as well. But again, as I mentioned, once you start creating dynamic URLs with a formula field, uh, this button can become fairly powerful. So that is how you use buttons. And the auto number as the last thing I want to touch on in today's video. And as previously mentioned, it just automatically creates a new unique number. So if I click add here, you can see that it adds the fifth one, sixth one, and so on. And even if I go ahead and delete five and six, the next one in order should be seven and it will automatically populate seven here for me. And again, the use for that is to link it back to your primary field as a unique identifier. And we'll learn how to do use that more in a later video. 
So that's it for today's video. It's pretty straightforward and simple to get started, but using all of those types of fields and various combinations can start to make your base very powerful and useful to use. So stay tuned for the next video in this series.